What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a mat Pilates workout with a small stability ball and a light hand weight. Props are optional. You don't have to use them, but I'm going to, and I would love it if you did too. We're gonna go ahead and get started just with a little bit of breathing. So come to a comfortable spot on your mat, whether that's cross-legged, legs out in front of you, whatever you feel comfy with. Hands come right to the tops of your legs. We'll take a nice big inhale, lift the shoulders so they come up towards your ears. Good, we'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back. Let it all go. Let's do three more like that, big inhale. And we exhale, let it all go. Good, two more, big inhale. And we'll exhale, take everything down. Good, one more, big inhale. We'll exhale, take everything right back down. Good, from here, grab onto your ball. We're gonna turn to the side. Legs are gonna go all the way out in front of you. We'll go uh, about mat's distance apart and then flex your feet, reach that ball so it goes out in front of you. Give that ball a little bit of a pressure, a we'll, little bit of pressure, sorry. We'll inhale, sit up nice and tall. You'll exhale, draw belly button to spine. You'll start to roll yourself back. Let's go about three quarters of the way. We inhale at the bottom. We're going to exhale, press into the hips, press into that ball, roll yourself all the way back up. Good. Let's do that four more times. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll it down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, roll it up. Good. Inhale at the top, exhale, take it down. Good. This is going to be two. And last one, I want you to roll it back, hold it right there. See if you can pull the belly button in a little bit more, tuck the tailbone under a little bit more. Now give me 10 pulses onto that ball. You press 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press into the ball, hold it there. Give me 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now roll back about another inch, pull the belly button in, tuck under there, 10 pulses on the ball. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 10 pulses forward. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we roll all the way down. Take a nice deep breath. Take a second. You've got it under control. We're going to take that ball. I want you to put it right underneath your sacrum. Okay, so just about above the butt cheeks. You'll press down onto it. You'll know if it's at the right spot. I promise. I promise you will. Okay, so press into that ball with your booty. Hands come down by your sides. We'll press the shoulders and the triceps down to the mat. From here, we lift one leg up into a tabletop position and then the other. We're going to take that right leg. You inhale, tap the right toes down. We'll exhale, lift that right knee back up above the hip. Inhale, tap the left toes down. Exhale, lift right back above the hip. Now we feel right away. It's a little bit tricky to stay stable up on that ball. Never so tricky that you can't do it though. Always remember that. Good. <sighs> oh, let's do two more each side. We go two and two. We'll go one and one. And then extend the legs all the way up above your hips. You want to press down a little bit more into the upper body to help you to stabilize. We're just going to swizzer, swizzer, scissor switch the legs. Right leg goes forward, left leg goes down. We exhale through center, switch, switch. Give me a double pulse, switch, switch. Pulse, pulse, I should say switch. Pulse, 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 pulse. Let's do two more each side. And two. Last one. And one. Good. From here, knees come back up above the hips. You're going to hold right there. I want you to take an inhale. You're going to extend those legs forward. Exhale, we bend the knees. Pull the knees right back above the hips. Let's do that six more times. Six. Gets wobbly. You can do it though. Five. We'll go four. This is three. 
two. And last one. Good, take everything in, one foot down, then the other. Grab onto that ball, bring your hips all the way down, and then just take a moment to rock your knees from side to side. Take a breath. Okay, we're doing good. We're gonna bring ourselves up right here, and I want you to come onto your left hip. We'll take the ball, we're gonna bring it right underneath kind of like our, our rib cage on the left side. Okay, so we'll lay down onto that ball. We'll take the left forearm down onto our mat as well. And then, before you get too comfortable, grab onto your weight. Okay, so we're pressing into the ball, but we're not slumping down into the ball. We're still thinking about trying to press up and away. We're going to tilt our hips open just a little bit, so we kickstand that right leg back, so you're pressing down with your right foot into the mat. Left leg is gonna go out in front of you. We'll point the toe, and you've got a little bit of external rotation at that toe. Weight goes into your right hand. We're gonna lift that right arm up above the shoulder. Okay, all we're gonna do right here is take a big exhale. You're gonna bend the knee, bend the elbow, pull knee to elbow, inhale, we reach it right back out. Now I'll say, this is a series that I taught last week on Zoom, and I've added in some movements that were inspired by my favorite teacher, Kat. So Kat, if you're watching this, thank you for always being my inspiration. You guys are gonna love this. Let's do four more, four, We'll go three, this is two, and last one. You lengthen out through your left leg, keep the arm and the leg straight, big exhale, tap the toe to the hand. They may not reach, that's okay. That's okay. Good, we'll go four, and for three, let's go two. And last one, lower the left leg down. You're gonna square your upper body off to me, drop the weight down. Your hand can come to your hip or it can just hang out by your mat, whatever feels better. We're gonna take that left leg, you'll give me a big exhale, lift the left leg up, inhale, tap it back down. Lift and lower, we'll lift and lower. Now, if you feel like your hips are like pressing crazy into the mat, you roll back a little bit, okay? You lift and lower from there. If you're more forward, it's gonna be a lot harder to lift through that bottom leg, so you can roll back a little bit, open the hips more up towards the ceiling. That's totally fine. Play around with it, make adjustments as you need to, okay? We'll do four more. Four, oh, I'm sweaty. This is three, whew, two, and last one. You're gonna hold that right leg up. I want you to exhale, bend the knee, tap the heel to your shin, inhale, kick it out. Good, bend and kick, we'll bend and kick for four more. We go four, for three, this is two, and last one. Good, you're gonna bend that knee back in. Now we're gonna move our heel, our left heel from the ankle up to the knee. So we go down and up, down, and up, we should feel a lot of inner thigh. It should feel not so nice. We're just gonna do four more. Four, we'll go three. This is two, out, and last one. Good, take everything down. You're gonna lengthen out through that left leg. You keep it out at about a 45. We'll come all the way onto the ball and we'll stack the hips so they come right on top of each other. That right leg is gonna press back behind you. Now, option to grab onto the weight and just shoot it up above the shoulder if you'd like to. I'm gonna keep it down on the mat, but that's an option if you'd like it. Okay, we'll take our right leg. I want you to take an inhale, tap your right toes down to the mat. We'll exhale, lift right back up. Lower and lift. You lower and lift. That's all it is, but we're gonna feel a lot of stuff happening in our hip stabilizers on that right side. Okay, we're gonna feel the tendency right away to shift down into the ball. So we think about pressing up and away, finding a lot of space, a lot of length. Good, let's do four more. Four, we'll go three, this is two, and last one, you're gonna hold your right leg up, grab onto your weight if you don't have it already, reach your arm up above your shoulder. We'll take an inhale, you're gonna kick the right leg back, rotate the right arm down towards your mat. We're gonna exhale, kick the right leg forward, open the right arm back behind you, okay? We'll do six more like that, six. We've done this before in a ball workout, but it's been a while, probably about a month. This is five. 
this will be four. We'll go three. Two. And last one. Good. With that last one, everything can come in. Um, put the weight down just for a second. We're going to grab onto the ball and we'll take the ball, put it right in between our ankles. Okay. And then come back down onto your left forearm, grab back onto your weight and your right hand. We're going to reach that right arm up above our shoulder and we'll take a big exhale. We're going to roll back on to our left hip. So you have to squeeze into the left side body, roll yourself back, lift your legs, and then reach your right hand up towards that ball or towards your feet. Inhale, we drop the legs. We're gonna open up and we'll rotate that right arm down towards your mat. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, we lower. I know we've done this one before. I think probably with the ring, maybe with the ball too, but definitely with the ring. Now this one you can do sans ball as well. You don't need the ball. Let's just do four more. This one is kind of fun. Four. This is three, so you have to squeeze onto the ball, but also squeeze into the right side obliques. Whew, this is gonna be two. Ouch. And last one. Good, and then we'll take everything down. You can just drop that weight off onto the mat, grab onto the ball. I'm noticing that I'm like shedding all over my leggings. We'll take a second, take a breath. If you wanna tap out through your hip a little bit, go ahead, tap it out. I'm gonna ditch my AirPod because <laughs> somehow it got disconnected. We're just gonna move right over to the other side. So I want you to come onto the right hip. We'll take the ball. You bring it underneath your rib cage on the right side. The right forearm comes down to your mat. And we grab onto that weight. We'll take it into our left hand. Now we're gonna kick stand with the left leg. So the left foot plants behind you. That's gonna make you open up through the hips a little bit. Right leg is gonna reach out in front of you at about a 45. Um, weight comes into your left hand. You're gonna lift that left arm up above your shoulder and we'll take that big exhale. You're gonna bend the knee in towards the elbow. Inhale, you release, you let it go. You keep moving like that. Now we've got a little bit of support underneath us with the ball. If you do need to adjust the ball, go ahead and adjust. If you don't have the ball, it's not a big deal. And then same thing that we talked about before. If you feel like your hip is like shearing against the mat, just open your hips up a little bit more towards the ceiling. Okay, that will help. If you're kind of opened up to me, it's gonna be a little bit uh, more uncomfortable, I will say, but it's like harder that way for sure. Let's do four more, four. We'll go three. This is so hard. This is two. And last one. You're going to lengthen out through that right leg, lengthen out through the left arm. Big exhale. We lift the foot towards the hand. Inhale. We release. We lift. We lower. Good. Four more. Four. This is three. I'm so sweaty. This is going to be two. And last one. Good, now again, option to keep the left arm up over the shoulder. I am not going to do that because, ouch. Okay, we're gonna press into that ball. So readjust it, press up out of the forearm, take that right leg, we're just gonna lift and lower. Now this is the one where it gets tricky on the hips. So if you need to open up a little bit more, go ahead and open up. You find a comfortable, or like as comfortably uncomfortable as you can handle, comfortable position on those hips. Just lift and lower. I'm like so sweaty. Are you guys warm? I say as if you are here with me in my living room. Let's do four more. Four. We'll go three. Oh, this is two. And last one. You're going to hold it up right there. We're going to exhale, bend the knee, pull the heel to the shin. Inhale, kick it right back out. Let's do six more. Six. We'll go five. Four. This is three. Whoo. Two. And last one. Good. You're going to pull your heel back in, lower it down towards the ankle. We're going to exhale, lift that leg up. 
and bring it back down. So we're just bent, we can't have the knee bent, we're just lifting the heel up towards the knee, down towards the ankle. Oh my God, this is so hard. Oh, you guys keep going. You don't need me. Let's do four more, four. We'll go three, two, and last one. Right leg comes all the way down. Take a breath, okay? We're gonna stack the hips so you square off to me. Right forearm stays down on your mat. We keep that ball right underneath um, our side body. Right leg's gonna stay out in front of you at about a 45. That left leg's gonna come back behind you. You can take your left hand in front of you if you'd like to. Okay, we've got the hip stacked. We're gonna take our left leg, you inhale lower, tap the toes down, exhale, we'll lift. Whew, sorry, inhale lower, exhale lift. Good, okay, now I'm feeling a little bit weird. Try and make sure your shoulder's right on top of that elbow as best you can. And you'll notice right away the tendency to drop down into the ball. So you want to be thinking about pressing up and away, still finding space, finding length. Good. Okay, uh, let's do four more. Four. We'll go three. This is two. And last one. Good, you're gonna lift your leg back up, grab onto that weight, reach it up overhead. We're gonna inhale, kick the left leg back as we rotate that left arm down towards our mat. We'll exhale, sweep the leg forward as we open the arm back behind us. We kick back, rotate forward. We'll kick forward, take it back. This will be six. Oh, this is gonna be five. This will be four. You're doing so well. Try to keep those hips stacked. This is gonna be three. Two. And last one. Oh, out. Good, and then take everything down. Oh my gosh, drop the weight, take a second, grab onto the ball. We're gonna move the ball so it comes in between our ankles, get back into the obliques a little bit so you're distracted from how much your hip hurts. Right forearm comes back down to the mat, your weight comes back into your left hand. We reach the left arm up above the shoulder and you're gonna give me a really big exhale. Roll yourself back onto your hips, lift the legs, reach your hand up towards the ball. We inhale, come right back down, stack the hips. And you can rotate your left arm down towards the mat. I believe we did that on the other side. Big exhale, we lift. So you're squeezing into the left side of your body. Inhale, we take it right back down. Good. Let's do four more. This is gonna be four. Whew, I'm getting real sweaty. Sorry, TMI. <laughs> This is gonna be three. This is two. And last one. Good. And then with that last one, everything can come down. You can drop the weight off to this side. We'll grab onto our ball. You take it with you. We're gonna lay everything down onto our mat. Take a nice deep breath. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. From here, the ball is going to come back in between your ankles. Okay. We're going to lift the legs so they're up at 90. And I want you to rotate the ball so that your right leg comes to the top. Left leg is going to go behind. And then from here, our hands come behind our head. We'll take an exhale. We're going to crunch left elbow to right knee. We'll inhale, come to center, D, rotate through the ball. So we rotate, we crunch up. Inhale, we take it right back down. Now, if you'd like to lower your legs more to a 45, you go for it. I'm not going to. If you'd like to extend your left arm up so maybe you find a little bit more length, you can do that as well. I sometimes like that a little bit more. Let's do four more. Four. Whew, don't let that ball drop. Three. We'll go two, and last one, 
good. Same thing on the other side. I almost had that ball drop right onto my face. We're gonna rotate so that the left leg comes up to the top and we can start with the left hand behind the head, right arm above the shoulder. We're gonna crunch and reach and then we'll inhale lower down, take that ball back through center. So twist and lower, a little twist and lower, good. And let's do four more. Four. We'll go three. Woo! This is two. And last one. Good, you can take everything down. Let's grab onto that ball into our hands. Legs, you're gonna go out in front of you. I want you to take the ball so it comes right to the tops of your legs. We'll take a big exhale. We nod the chin to the chest. We're gonna push that ball up our legs, push into the backs of the hips, push the ball all the way down to your feet. Take a big forward fold. We inhale right there. We're gonna exhale, roll that ball right back in towards the legs. You're gonna roll yourself all the way down onto your mat. And that ball can come right about to your belly button. Okay, we keep going like that. Let's do four more. And we lower right back down. That was four, this is gonna be three. A little bit harder to roll up with the legs together, but you can do it. Never so hard that you can't do it, you guys. Try to lower down with control. I'm okay if at this point you have to use some momentum because right about here is the sticky part. Woo! This is going to be two. <sighs> this will be our last one. <sighs> oh, ouch. Okay, big forward fold. Good, and in this forward fold, I'm just gonna let you hang out right here. Take a nice deep breath. You can toss the ball off to the side. Good news, you're done with it. <sighs> let it all go. Good, and then we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Let's butterfly the legs. You can bring the soles of the feet together, open the knees up nice and wide, and just start to kind of flutter through the legs a little bit. Good. Okay, once you've had enough right here, we're gonna take the right leg so it goes out in front of us. I'm gonna turn this way for you guys. Left leg's gonna come out by your side so the inside of your left foot comes to you, the inner thigh. And we're just gonna fold forward over that right leg. Nice big stretch. Good. We'll hold right here for three, for two, and one. Start to roll yourself up. And we'll just switch out the legs. Left leg goes out, right leg comes in. We're gonna fold ourselves forward over the left leg. Nice big fold, nice deep breath. <sighs> Good, we'll hold for three, for two, and one. You can bring yourself all the way up. Just come up through seated, and you guys made it all the way to the end. You guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist you. You got me thinking like